Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. I hope you're doing well. But by all accounts, I hear that quite a few people are angry. Are you angry? There's things that really are the reason as to why you're angry. I was angry. In fact, I've been angry in several cycles. And it seems to well up from this place where you just don't even know where. Do you feel like you're trying to be so zen and you have to walk around with your Wonder Woman bracelets just for protection and deflection? That's not the way. The new way is with your twin flame body. So let's talk about this a little bit. Anger, bouts of it, fits of rage, feeling infuriated. This is cosmic level stuff, which is why it's not easily gotten rid of. And it will go in several cycles. And it is tied in with sex. It is tied in with relationships. It is tied in with families and family violence. It is tied in with reproduction. And it is in there. For some people, it is embedded so deep that it takes some of these eclipse events and lunar energies and retrogrades to scrape it up and out. And this is one of the hardest things because what is our topic? Our topic is love. And so how does love and anger go together? And I'm not talking about passion equals drama or drama equals passion or if that someone is angry at you, that means that they're passionate. Sometimes it just means that they're angry and they are tempering themselves to doing worse destruction. Anger has been highly destructive and detrimental throughout history. And while anger does serve a purpose, such as finding your dignity again where something just finally strikes you the wrong way, and this is one of the things that females especially have needed. Have you felt fits of rage, infuriated? And let's just give you an example where you're there, you're doing your best, and all of a sudden you're just like, oh no, oh no, oh bloody hell. I'm, that's it. I'm not doing, I, no, not lifting another finger. No, 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 no. Until you feel like a pack animal that is suddenly balked at whatever they're supposed to be carrying. And a part of you is saying, oh, hell no, because you're not crazy that you can't carry around some of this stuff. That's not the new design. There is a new template, a template of relationship from 5D, part of your twin flame body that is not designed to hold this stuff. So that's the part that I don't get out there is that there's a lot of people giving rationale for narcissism and why, and I'm saying, why even bother? Just start getting it removed. Start getting the parts of you that you need inside so that you can get up and running and not linger in this stuff because this stuff will go in four to five cycles. You know what that means? That means about a year and a quarter. And some people, if they've never really understood some of this, how it works, if this is new to you, please jump the line and come forward and have me help you with your twin flame body. Because the more you make it about your body, your new chakras, your new connections, your new marma points, the new areas that you have to breathe in, the better off you're going to be, the more that you are going to get into that quantum swing that lets you jump the line. Jump the broom in a good way. So, for women, are you feeling heated? Are you feeling slightly hysterical? Or what's, could someone accuse you of being hysterical? Oh, she's hysterical. Must be that time of the month. She's hysterical. And yet you're tired of it. You're up to here with the things that people are accusing you of or trying to apply to you. And you're saying, that's not really how I am. That's not how I am. I'm so different. It's this place. It's these people. It's this planet. Oh, yeah, it is. And you could be saying, bloody hell. Now, let's give you some scenarios, okay? Let's say it's a life 
where you're married, but your mother-in-law keeps coming around and giving you the look and asking you, when are the children going to be here? When are you going to make babies? Because of course she needs to live her life vicariously through you. She needs to interfere because it's giving her life purpose. She needs to have something to do with her hands and her mind, and she needs a target. And you're elected, or are you? And is there something inside of you that wants you to push off of this? Guess what that something inside is? It's not just your heart. It's your inner twin. Yeah. Your inner twin is rising up to like your causes to help you. But what if you can't get that really going to so where it's your benefit? That's when you come to me to help you because it goes through layers of stuff. There are things you have to get rid of that literally need to be detached from you and your other. Let's give you another scenario. You meet someone, but somehow you start getting that sinking feeling that they will be somehow destructive to you. You're going to wind up self-sabotaging. You're going to wind up becoming angry at some point, or they're somehow seeming to bring out the worst in you. Red flag. And then they accuse you of being hysterical. And then what do they do? They turn into the narcissist. They get cold, they get distant. They blame you for the emotions that they're actually provoking in you and it's all your fault. And now you're going to be punished and now you're not going to receive. And on top of it, they have a hair mentality. We are in an energy where the mob mentalities, the pack mentalities, the group mentalities and the collective hive mind, however you call it, you are getting a ray from it. It's still going to be there, but you're the one that has to leave. Bye-bye. Get out. Get away from the pack. Don't stand there and look at the crowd. Don't stand there. Okay. Get where you need to be. But where is that? And how do you get there? You do it through the body. You're not going to up level completely unless you participate. And I know right now some people are like going, next. I don't care. See you next year. Because this is already on. The whole world is in a timeout. And some people are paying attention and some people are, you know, honestly messing up with things like conspiracy theories. And you're so busy giving your attention to the thing that is providing resistance that you're the only one lost in it. Are you lost? Are you not feeling how to cope? Okay, so let's give you another scenario. Does someone who you may have been involved with, suddenly you are so angry at them. It may not even be a deep involvement. It may be a distance involvement with them. And you feel so angry, you want to say, are you taking advantage of me? You find your teeth are clenching. You're getting tense. You're feeling it builds up. And you could just smack someone. Does it feel like that? Sometimes it feels like that. Are you tired of all the stupid men around you? Are you tired of all the stupid women around you? Do, do you find that you're like lumping people together and going, Arr, oh, bloody hell. Do you want to say to that person, if it's one person, do you want to say, how dare you? How dare you? Are you taking advantage of me? Please don't confuse your gigolos for your twin flames. Okay, just going to like put that out there. Because there's a lot of people that can't really tell the difference. And I can tell. And furthermore, you need to yank them out by several places where you have cords of connection. But why don't people do this? I'll tell you why. Because to them, it's the same as having artisanal level emotional comfort. Okay? They're getting something out of it, but it's not love. And every cell inside your body is going to be saying, oh, hell no, I'm not crazy. I can't 
I can't keep up this charade. I can't, I'm not getting anything out of this. In fact, if anything, it riles me. It makes me question, am I taking advantage? It makes me wonder, why is someone punishing me? Why is someone acting cold and distant? Okay, if this is you, and these are things that you've been sort of like, it's welling up here, it's starting to come to a head because if nothing else, you need to look at the cosmos, the word eclipse. What is eclipsing your health? What is eclipsing your love? What is obscuring it? What is hiding it? What is making it shadowy? Okay. And like a lot of people say, you can't see the shadows unless the light is there. Sometimes it's just darkness. <laughs> but once you start getting a little bit of light in, you can see the shadowy things. You're that light. You are that love. You're that lover that doesn't want to be taken advantage of. So what about harem mentality? Okay. Now, if you look at it from a historical standpoint, in some ways, people were properly protected. They were taken under the wing. They were educated. They were fed. But there were expectations. That was a job. And there were other people put in charge of it. So how many people have been mutilated, mated to someone? And it's no wonder you're saying, are you taking advantage of me? We still need to get these things out. So along with this is things like people pleasing. You're not just setting boundaries with your voice. In fact, that does not work because that will talk to someone's ego who then kind of knows where the chink in your armor is. They know your weak spot and they will say, <laughs> I know just how to rile them now. I know how to provoke them. I want to get them going because why? Why? Are you having makeup sex? Angry sex? That is not twin flame love. That is not the same thing. It's very base level. And it's actually usually not love at all. It's a facade. It is something that is um, actually quite dangerous to some people because it leads to other drama that involves children not getting proper care for? How many people have had a family where because of the family's drama, you find years later as an adult that you've had certain things neglected or not saved up for, or because your parents couldn't handle it or couldn't cope or didn't properly get a separation or divorce because they couldn't. Because why? The next thing that I'm going to talk about the burdens of tradition. So many people do come from some kind of traditional background. All of us do. We all have traditions and sometimes we ditch our family's traditions and we take on some other ancient culture's traditions. Or you pick, a, pick and choose and you kind of mash it up and you find something that works for you. That's still not 5D because those are earth things. Those are earth level things. So what are the burdens of tradition? Now, also in this energy, this is an energy where certain things can be uncovered. Benevolent things, positive things, inheritances, people's fortunes shifting, healthier ways, healthier relationships, quitting smoking, quitting drinking, quitting the addictions. Because sometimes those two are just the wrong things and they have taken a toll. So the things that have taken a toll on both men and women, even though this energy is largely affecting the women, men can have their version of it where they're at work and they're just like, dude, oh my goodness, you got me so riled. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I need my armor. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to, you know, put my armor forward. I'm a spiritual warrior. That gets pretty heavy to hold up. And what a lot of people tend to forget is whatever you're going through, it's happening on the other end. If you're drinking, someone else is feeling the hangover. And these are the things that cannot be accounted for when someone goes to the hospital. They'll go in and say, I feel crazy. And several thousand dollars later of emergency room visits and finding nothing physically wrong 
they are left to me to feel that they are crazy. You are having things break down in so many places it isn't even funny. And you will get lost in it if you don't focus and pay attention on what is actually new here. My modality of twin plane body has several things that are actually new for the levels of you because it's time. It's really time. You want security. You want the things that you are here for. So I have several things. I highly suggest if you're experiencing some of this and you're tired, you're sick and tired of feeling angry and then depleted or fighting everyone and then you're just wiped out and lost and confused, guess what? Time for a change. It's really time to change it up and start getting busy with something, my modality, which can help you expedite it. And there's people that are like one and done. You can't be one and done. This is an ongoing process. You could be one and finish, and I will see you next year. <laughs> because that happens. I've had people return after two years when um, they kind of didn't get it. They thought, you know, they were doing this and doing that. I've had people say it again and again to me. I thought I was doing the work, except I wasn't. It doesn't take you six months of time to fumble through something to get rid of it. It's now at the point in these new energies where it can take, you know, days and weeks, depending on how deep it is. I'm the creator of it. I am the teacher of it. I teach it as a uh, for practitioners, twin plane body practitioner, level one. And so if you are affected, have a psyche subtle body session. I usually recommend three of these minimum, but during your session, I let you know what to do, what to expect in the following days, because you're going to be releasing. You can't get angry at the healers for helping you release stuff. I don't know, understand why people's heads start messing that up. Like, oh, it must be this. Oh, it must be that. It's everything but themselves taking charge of it. Please take charge of what you can charge, take charge of and be a part of the solution here. You are the chain breakers. You're, you're finishing some of this stuff. You're wrapping it up. You're putting yourself into the next big thing, which is you. You're the big thing under the sun here. Yes, you are. The universe needs a fresh infusion of love. Somebody's going to be making that love. And it's not 3D sex. It is the most mind-blowing, out-of-body, highly sensual, passionate, committed, intimate thing that you can ever possibly experience. And it's not fearful at all. Fear and love do not exist in the same places. So I have a webinar where I am going to teach you the primers for sacred sexuality. And we're going to do this because we're coming up to some Lionsgate energy. You're going to feel some things begin to hit the accelerator. And I do have a, a meditation. If you feel that you're losing the emotional connection, try this meditation. It's very good. All of my... Twin flame union meditations are very twin flame focused. They're not abstract. They're very personal because they're to help you make personal, deep connections for specific purposes. And this is another misconcept that this is some en masse thing. And I'll just say this, just to kind of clarify it. Some people have things in the lower parts of their body and some people's trouble spots are in the upper parts of their body. Enough said about that. You need more specifics, please have a session and reach out and email me if you have questions. Twinflamebody at gmail.com. I will feel what's appropriate for you. This is on. This timeout is going to, can. let's put it this way, that this comfort will continue until people make changes. You know, paraphrase on that old expression. The beatings will continue until morale improves, it, except this is not about morale. It's about the attitude and the mentality shift to think that this is something in the head and there's just narcissists and females. <laughs> Honest to God, if, for new people coming on to this, 
please don't go by that. The men want to be in love just as much as you. The men do not want to be taken advantage of either. Men who like men also are getting rid of some of these um, female area, feminine essence parts of them that are wounded, wounded and need healing. Heal, seal, feel. That's what I say. So thanks so much for watching. Look for the links below in the description. Bye now.